Hello friends, today's video is on the benefits of perlite and vermiculite in garden soil, then the differences between the perlite and vermiculite and lastly the disadvantages or the drawbacks of using them in garden. Coming up. Imagine this scenario, you are standing in the garden and trying to decide which one to mix in your potting soil, whether perlite or vermiculite. The differences between perlite and vermiculite are important to know for the prosperity of your garden. Perlite and vermiculite are two different substances used for a common purpose that is for moisture retention and aeration in soil that means to hold water within the soil for plants and also to improve the air circulation or aeration into the potting mix. Perlite and vermiculite are quite different in composition and also uh, performance wise they are different. Determining which is better for use in your garden depends on your plant type and its requirements. Vermiculite is an aluminium iron magnesium silicate that resembles mica in appearance. It is heated to expand the particles and form flakes. It has a neutral pH of 7.0. Vermiculite can soak up 3 to 4 times its volume in water and absorbs and retains moisture. It also attracts and retains plant nutrients such as potassium, magnesium, calcium and phosphorus. Vermiculite is a spongy material that is dark brown to golden brown in color. It is shaped like flakes when dry. Perlite is an amorphous volcanic rock that is rich in silicon. To use as a potting medium, perlite is crushed and then heated up to expand the particles. Perlite has a pH of about 6.6 .6 to 7.5. Perlite looks like porous white balls of varying grades that look like white granules often resembling foam balls or thermocol balls. It can be easily crushed with your fingers or on uh, pressure. But still, even the smallest particle of perlite serves its purpose of moisture retention and holding air within. This is because of the microscopic bubbles in perlite which serve this function. In comparison, perlite and vermiculite are both good at retaining water. But vermiculite acts more like a sponge, holding more water than perlite and offering less aeration for the plant roots. Whereas perlite retains less water but because it is porous it allows excess water to drain more readily than vermiculite and improves soil aeration. Perlite cannot be used in only garden soil because it is readily crushable and will not serve the purpose fully due to compression by the heavy garden soil particles. Best use of perlite is in potting mix with various combinations like uh, cocoa peat, peat moss, sand and other loose material. Please watch my separate video on various potting mix formulae. Well to summarize or list out the uses of both vermiculite and perlite. Number one, they prevent soil compaction that is improve aeration and retain moisture. They are also used in propagation of plants from cuttings that is cloning. They are also used for seed starting mix for seed germinations. Then lastly they are also used to grow indoor plants and succulents. Well, now the take home message is vermiculite is ideal for plants that prefer lots of water and perlite would dry out too rapidly for water loving plants. However, perlite is favorable for plants such as cacti uh, which need a well drained soil. One bad effect of overuse of uh, especially vermiculite is the excessive moisture retained by vermiculite would lead to root rots or plant death. So in any general potting mix use no more than 10% of these substances especially vermiculite. So there we have it folks that was our informative episode on the uses and differences between perlite and vermiculite in garden. If you like the video please give a thumbs up and also share and comment below the video. Also consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening.